So, just another quick video about Virtual DJ and a question I got on the Facebook uh, page about uh, having two pad pages selected at the same time if you're in a multi pad page mode, if you will, if you're using 16 pads. So, uh, someone have figured out that if you go into here and enable pad 16, then you actually have two times eight pads, right? The problem being that if you then select something else down here, like slicer, then, it's, then it changes both of them. So how does it do that? Well, that's because this is actually supposed to be for 16 pads, right? Like a 16 pad controller. So uh, if I go back into hot cues again, this is supposed to be Q9. So not a secondary pad page right here. So uh, can you do that though? Well, you can in a few steps. So. Let me remove that again. The next logical conclusion was, well, we'll just use split pad page. Then we'll have one page up here and one pad page down here. So that's the, the split pad page feature where you can select a secondary pad page. And then if you're in a, a eight pad mode, like usual, like for instance, choose stems, then you get the first four um, pads from the, from the one pad page up here and the first four from the one down here. But as you can see, that's still selected both of them. That means if we go down here, now we get Q9 again, and that probably wasn't the intention. That probably was the intention you were supposed to get hot cues up here and stems down here. And you can actually do that too. I uh, just need to do a little settings change. So if I go into options in here and put in 16, then you can see it's set to auto. 16 pad mode is set to auto. And that actually means when you read the text down the bottom that it detects if you have a 16 patch controller detected and that it acts accordingly. But we don't have that. We're clear, uh, clearly only using the mouse right now. So we actually have to put it always on. And now if I do it over, so I select cut, hot cue, and then I go into split pad page and then select the stems. Then I get what I want. I got hot cue up here. And stem down here. Like you would expect. So a, uh, a double mode. But of course, this is kind of hard to, to keep here because whatever you do, it'll change something. If you change into, I don't know, slicer or something, it'll change and then it's pretty, uh, it's a few steps to get it back, right? So actually you can use the save tweet feature to help with that. So if I now go in, in this mode, go into split again and do save the stem, then it gets saved. So that means I have now instead select it as a stem. It's gonna be the bottom run right now, so you can't see it before I select it. But now it's selected. And that means I now have AG plus stems selected, which is the same, go have. I have the combination again, and if I go into another one, like hot cues, I have 16 hot cues, and then if I pick the, the one I created by using save just before, it switches right back to that one, so I don't have to do the, 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 the multi-steps of, of splitting and stuff like that. So that's the way to do it. A uh, fast way to do it is, of course, enabling it here. Pad 16, remember to go into setting, and select 16 mode to always be on, even though there's no 16 pad controller connected. And then probably you wanna, uh, you wanna save this, this uh, then you have to do this, the, the split stems, select what you want, and then you probably want to save it in the end so that you can get to it quickly. So just, just a quick little tip.